I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of the the thousands of people that were walking behind his casket, but it's a sight to see, man. But I remember the very first time that I was going through a book of Cesar Chavez that I got from the library, and I was just reading about him and reading about him, and I got to the page where it's like where he passed away, and and they showed pictures of the wooden casket, and I was like, oh my goodness, what a humble ending. What a humble ending. Why why didn't he why did he do that? Why did he get buried in a wood? I couldn't understand. He was such a great man. He was such a a person that deserved a a different type of casket. At least that's what I thought. You know, but I really started examining the situation and I was like, what a powerful statement this man did throughout his life and even to the very end. You know, his brother, Richard Chavez, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he was the one that even made him that wooden casket. And it was just a humble sight to see, man. Like, whoa, that's that's humbling, man. That's humbling. I mean, people, you know, and it's not to say a humble casket or or a, or a really nice casket. You know, it depends, you know, how you want to be remembered and where the condition of your heart was. And I'm not saying this is good or bad, but... I remember when I seen James Brown. Y'all know who James Brown is. When he passed away, he he had a golden casket, gold-plated casket. You know what I'm saying? I remember looking at that casket and I was like, "Wow, what a celebrity! What a what a rock star! What a what a man!" Right? Everybody knows who James Brown is. Everybody loved James Brown. But when I seen Cesar Chavez's casket, <laughs> I was like, it made me want to cry. I was like. Why? Why? You know, this is it it was it was such a powerful, humble statement that it's like it shocks you. It shocks you, man. And I'll never forget that about Cesar Chavez, that wooden coffin. What a statement till the very end. Que descanse en paz, Cesar Chavez. Y que viva Cesar Chavez. And second, I want to talk about the first time I experienced death, man. (laughs) 